Hello students, welcome to Engineers Academy. Do hit the subscribe button if you are here for the first time. Now we are going to solve this problem from chapter 3, Vector Mechanics by Baron Johnston. And the problem says that a 400 Newton force P is applied at point A of the bell crank shown. Number A, compute the moment of the force P about A by resolving it into components along OA and in a direction perpendicular to that line. And in part B, it says that determine the magnitude and direction of the smallest force Q applied at B that has the same moment as P about O. So in problem 3.6, we have solved this problem by resolving this force P into its X and Y components. But now in this particular problem, it says that find the moment of this force P by resolving it into its components along this OA line and perpendicular to this OA line. So we need to find the components of this force P along this OA line. So one of the components will be this. This will be the P component parallel to OA and this will be the component of P uh, perpendicular to that line OA. So in order to find the magnitude of these two, we need to have the angle of this force P with this OA line. So if we know, if we somehow find the angle of this force P with this OA line, then this P parallel will be the P cos of that theta, and this will be the sine component of that force P. So in other words, we can say that we need to find this angle theta. So either we can find the angle of this force P with this OA line or we can find the angle of this force P with the line perpendicular to this OA line. So either we can find this angle, let's say this angle is theta dash or either we can find this angle theta. So if we find this angle theta dash, then in terms of that theta dash, this P perpendicular will be P cause of that theta dash. And if we find this theta, then in terms of that theta, and this p perpendicular will be p sine of theta so now it's up to you either you can find the angle of this force p with this oa or either you guys can find the angle of this force p with the line perpendicular to this oa so now we are given that this oa line is making uh, 40 degrees with the horizontal so if i draw a horizontal line here let me draw a horizontal line here so if this is that angle if this is that 40 degree angle then we have that 40 degree angle here as well since this angle and this angle both of these angles are alternate angle so if this is 40 degree then this is 40 degree as well and we can see that this whole angle is 90 degree so we can say that this is 40 degree and this whole angle is 90 degree so if this is the case, then this theta will be 90 minus 30 minus 40. So we can say that uh, theta plus 30 degrees plus 40 degrees is equal to 90 degrees. Or we can say that theta is equal to 90 degrees minus 30 degrees minus 40 degrees. And this comes out to be 20 degrees. So this means that this force P is making 20 degrees with this OA line. So now we can say that this P parallel is, and the P magnitude is 400. So we can say that P parallel is 400 cos of theta, which is 20 degrees. And P perpendicular is 400 sine of 20 degrees. So the component with which the angle is made is always the cos component and the other component will be the sine component. So we can say that the moment of this force P about O will be equal to um we can say that r o a the moment arm from o to a multiplied by p perpendicular since um this p parallel is passing through that point o so its moment arm from that point o is zero so it's not going to produce the moment about that point o so only this component is going to produce the moment about that point o so as we can see that r o a is 200 this is 200 or in mm this is 0.2 so 200 divided by 1000 gives us 0.2 meters and p perpendicular is 400 sine of 20 degrees so we can say 0 0.2 multiplied by 400 sine of 20 
this gives us moment about o equals to 27.36 newton meter and as we can see that this p perpendicular is going to rotate this crank about that point o in a counterclockwise direction so we can say that mo is a counterclockwise moment and it is the magnitude of its uh, that moment is 27.36 newton meter about that point o now in the second part of this problem it is said that determine the magnitude and direction of the smallest force q applied at b that has the same moment as p about o so in order to have the same moment uh, about o uh, at uh, at point b there is a force q and we need to find the magnitude of that force q so let's say that this is that force q which is acting at b and it's going to produce the same moment that is produced by that force p in a counterclockwise direction so we will have that same moment so we can say that the moment about point o due to force q will now be equal to r o b multiplied by q and in order to have this uh, force q as the smallest so it must be perpendicular to that o b line so this must be perpendicular and this must be equal to the moment produced by that force p which is 27.36 so this is equal to 27.36 newton per meter and r o b is in mm it is 120 mm so in meters it will be 120 divided by 1000 so that will be 0 0.120 meters into q equals to 27.36 newton meter this is newton meter and dividing both sides by 0 0.120 0 0.120 so this gives us so we can divide our answer by 0 0.120 so this gives us force q approximately equal to 228 newtons so this is that force q which need to be applied at point b perpendicular to that line ob in order to produce that same moment which is produced by that 400 newton uh, force p and if someone says that what should be the angle of this force q with the horizontal what should be the angle of this uh, force q with the horizontal so we need to find that angle as well so this angle is 90 degree this is 90 degree and if i drop a vertical line from here let's say if we draw a vertical line like this if we draw a vertical line like this so this will be 90 degree so and uh, so if this is 90 this is 48 then this angle is let's say let's say this angle is angle beta this is 90 degree so beta will be equal to so we can say that um, this 48 plus 90 plus beta is we can say beta plus 48 plus 90 degrees this must be equals to 180 degrees since they are the three angles of a right angle triangle so from this we can say that beta will be equal to we can say that beta is equal to 180 minus 48 minus 90 so 180 minus 48 minus 90 this gives us 42 so that beta angle is 42 degrees so now we can say that this angle is 42 we can say that this angle is 42 degrees and now that if this force q is perpendicular to this oa and this line is perpendicular to this vertical line so if the angle between this oa and this vertical line is 42 degrees then the angle between this force q and this horizontal line is 42 degrees as well so we can say that this angle alpha is 42 degrees as well so this angle is 42 degrees as well so we can say that the magnitude of uh, that smallest force q in order to produce that same moment about o is 228 newton and it is making 42 degree with the horizontal so we can say that that minimum force q is going to make 42 degree angle with the horizontal and its magnitude is 228 newtons so this is the solution of this particular problem i hope this will help you in your learning do subscribe engineers academy for the solution of such more problems from vector mechanics for engineers by baron johnston